is up you guys I hope you're all doing well today we're gonna be hanging up a nine foot by six foot canvas painting that I did uh, we're gonna be using this Bosch GLL 30 it's a self-leveling cross uh, line laser and it's gonna help level everything out make it a lot easier because it is nine canvases put together to make this one big canvas um, before we get started though I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who's been supporting and if you're new to the channel Please subscribe, and if you haven't already done so and you've been watching, man, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, just because I don't update as often, and when I do, you guys will get that not notification. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where we're gonna be hanging the painting, what painting we're gonna be hanging, and as we go, I'll do like a time-lapse video, and uh, you guys will be able to see the full outcome at the end, and I'll let you guys know how it went with these, uh, with the Bosch and the command strips. Um, and yeah, other than that, we'll we'll get started though. All right, so this is the actual wall. I don't know if you can see it there, but it is gonna be in this area. Like I said, the canvas, or canvases, it's gonna be nine canvases all together, three columns, three rows, and this is the painting right here. So this is a commission that I did for a buddy of mine a few years back. It's half of Drake's face, so it's a Drake portrait. Um, you got the Drake owls right there for the background. And so this canvas right here is, I believe it's two feet by three feet. And that's what makes it the nine feet by six feet all together. But it's nine of these put together and it's half of Drake's face and then half of an owl's face. So that's what's going to sit right over here or right against that wall. We're going to try to fit it, make sure it works out. First, I'll do the measuring and whatnot. And then we'll try that laser and make sure that everything's leveled. But because this is my first time using the Bosch, I don't know how long it's going to take me. So I will put this on a time lapse. That way I can speed things up and not make these videos so long. Because one, it does take forever to upload onto YouTube. <laughs> but second, you know, that way it keeps things short and you guys are able to enjoy a video and not be freaking taking half your lunch time watching it or something. But nonetheless, let's get started. All right, so this is how I have it set up. It's already on the tripod. Um, it has a gimbal style kind of laser, so if you move it around, it's going to wobble until it levels itself out. This is what it looks like on the wall. And so if I shift it around, it'll eventually stop. And if it's not, for some reason, if this thing is not leveled, and let's say it's tilting all the way to one side, then it will cre it'll start blinking. It'll still stay straight. Like I mean, the cross will stay straight. It's just gonna it's, it just won't be leveled to your actual wall, and so it'll blink and let you know that that's what's happening. But let's say I mean I'm assuming these people people use this for like uh, stairways or something, so they'll need that angle, and it'll just be blinking for them like that. But in our case, we're doing straight up stuff, just up and down. So it's going to be moving around like that until it stops and levels itself out. And so I just wanted to show you guys that process real quick of what's going on. First of all, I want a gap at the very top of the painting, the gap between the ceiling and the actual painting to be a little bit smaller than the gap at the very bottom. Um, that's just the way I've always done it. it I I've, I've personally feel it gives a better view to uh, the actual person viewing it. Um, versus a perfect like so you'll have let's say we have four inches at the bottom four inches at the top i would rather do three inches and five inches so three at the top five at the uh five at the bottom um that's just the way i do it um you can always you can always do it the way you want and the way that looks better for you that's just the way i do it um so i'm gonna go ahead and measure this part and then see how it goes All right, so I decided to do six inches and 10 inches at the bottom. Six up top, six at the bottom, and what I did is measured six inches from the top part of the, of the ceiling, uh, and then from that six inches, I measured 24 inches for the full canvas, because that's where I'm gonna throw the line, the red line coming across, and then I'll have another line on this side, which is gonna be from the cross, cross line, um, to measure, to make sure it's, everything's level.
right, YouTube. That's what we got so far. The top three. So far, it's going pretty smooth. Uh, I got a uh, package in. Levi came in, so I got a little distracted. Uh, but so far, it's going pretty smooth. Um, I guess I'm going to keep the time lapse going. If I run into any issues, I'll stop the video and talk to you guys. So, I don't know if I showed you guys in the video. This is, or in the previous videos, but this is how I ended up putting the Velcro. I put one side, sticky side onto this, and then the other side is gonna stick onto the wall. Uh, I guess a little late in the video, but still, this is how it's, this is how I did it on each corner. I did it like that. That way it sticks onto the wall, and like if one comes off, it at least has three other areas to, uh, to support it. But I'm taking these off now so I can hang this, this one. I didn't want to do this as a like review video either. Um, I guess a, I don't know. I just didn't want to get too like informative about it, so I didn't like do the open box and like this is this is what I pay. This is all that stuff. But I do want to tell you guys I paid like sixty bucks for it, and you know it made my life easier. And that's to me that's worth the money, um, especially when you're hanging you know multiple canvases that have to line up a certain way. Um, overall, it, it's it's a buy for me at least. It was, um, and I'm sure that like hanging up a simple one, you know, one painting is gonna be ideal for it too. Just because, boom, you just put it up. It, it, it works. It works really well. All right, it's a wrap. I uh, finished up. This is what it looks like on the wall. I know it's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna take another another shot for you guys, and. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me go ahead and uh, shoot a nice uh, video of it, post it on here. And yeah, thank, thank you guys for joining. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification bell. See ya.